Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Vlogmas Day 4. <laughs> Already made it through four days of Vlogmas consistently. Give me one second. Let me make this left-hand turn. Oh, I see cars. I'm trying to, like, get this done properly. Come on, come on, come on. I hope I'm not, like, in the road. This is truck turning. I hate this intersection so much, it's not even funny. I, like, I legit hate it. It's so big and scary that I just don't like driving in it. I think I can go. I'll go after this truck. Thank you, mister. I just dropped Lathe off at school. I was gonna vlog this morning driving him, but he was like in a really pissy mood and he was not in the mood to hear me yap on while Baby Shark was playing. So, you know, I let him have his time and I just figured I would vlog when um, I drop him off. I had to tell his teacher this morning that um, he will be coming to Jamaica with me. So he'll be missing a couple days of school next week. And so, um, I'll take that later. Anyways, I am just getting to my storage locker because I didn't get to go yesterday because um, I didn't realize that where I went to was so far away from late school and I wouldn't have made it to two places in time. So I'm going today. I don't think I have to work this week. Give me a second. Let me go load the car into the storage locker and then I'll come back and talk to you guys in a minute. Okay. Let me reverse this car. Thank God, honestly, for rear cams because I couldn't do it without it, to be honest with you. Like, this just makes my life so much easier. You have no idea. Still a little lean. Let me just come in a bit more. Oh, child. Let's straighten up. And then reverse into my spot. Yas queen. Your girl can drive. I'll take you guys with me so that I'm not just like leaving you here. So let's go. Here's Leith's umbrella stroller. It's very dirty, so I'm going to see if I can pop this piece off here and wash it. I'm pretty sure I can. It's just a seat that they're, that's dirty, but it's in great condition. We bought this for Paris. This is the McLaren Techno XLR. Absolutely love it. It goes to a full recline, so he can take naps in there, and he has lots of room in this one so absolutely love it perfect all right everyone so i'm gonna pop in the car and I'm gonna give my mom a call because she's been she's been blowing up my phone all morning. So I'm gonna go find out what she wants and I'll talk to you guys in literally like a fraction of a second when I'm at home. I think I'm gonna get my hair done when I go to Jamaica. So I was actually on the phone with my mom talking about the hairstyle that I wanna do. I'm in the process of pulling off um, the stuff on late stroller. I didn't even think it was possible, but I got it done to wash it. So I'm gonna wash the stroller. Well, not not the stroller. I'm not gonna wash the stroller. I'm gonna wash the seat. If you guys are interested, this is what it means to have a child. This is actually a lot cleaner than I thought it would be, but uh, <laughs> the stroller is actually, it's pretty clean, it's just the seat that's dirty. And so I'm gonna just vacuum the rest and I think a cloth can get that stain out right there. But the hood looks good, it's just the seat that needs washing. So this is what um, it pretty much looks like 
out, but I need to clean out the bottom there, give this a quick vacuum, and it's going to look brand spanking new. That is pretty much what I have planned now. I stopped off at Starbucks on my way home, treated myself to their new Irish Cream Americano. Not my favorite. Maybe I'll try the cold brew later on, but maybe, I don't know, maybe it's better. I got mine half sweet, so instead of doing the four pumps of Irish cream syrup, I only did two. So maybe that's why it doesn't taste that good, but I'm not too impressed. So it tastes like, it's Irish cream, so it tastes like there should be rum in it, but there isn't. So I'm going to go throw that stuff in the washer, finish my coffee, and probably put some food in my stomach because I haven't eaten, and then we'll just kind of like go about the rest of our day, and you guys will see me preparing for takeoff um, for Mexico. So, Mexico, Jamaica, Mexico's in two weeks. I'm also excited about that. That one for real, no kids. Like you will not hear me last minute say Leith is coming on the flight. So I think it's good that he's actually coming with me to Jamaica because I will be leaving him in a couple weeks to go to Mexico for five days. So I think it's just kind of working out the way it was supposed to. Whoa, okay, so here's what's happening. I still haven't eaten. Uh, the dryer just went off because Lathe's, the seat for Lathe's stroller just finished drying. So I'm really excited to see it to see if it's, if I got it really clean. The reason why I got back up and turned on the camera is because I just heard the doorbell. And that means I got a package. Okay, hold on. I need to show you this. Okay, are you ready? I can see it out the door. Whoa. You ready? Oh my god, my dishes are here. I'm so excited. I don't even know, my legs are shaking. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. My dishes, my plate set, my dinnerware is here. And I want to open, I have to open up everything just to make sure that nothing's broken. And then they're going to go right back in the box and into storage for us to use when we move into the new house. <sighs> oh yeah, okay, so let's get them in. Let's get them in. This one is a scary one because it's pretty big. And he put it down on its side. If anything is broken, I'm going to be very, very, very upset. Can't do it. Ah, 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 ah. This box is massive. Oh my gosh, I can barely make it through the door. I cannot begin to explain how excited I am. This is probably one of the most exciting purchases I've ever made. This is my dinner set from Crate and Barrel. And I got the, I got six place settings because our dining room will be big enough for six, um, six dishes and like, for six chairs, for six people. Um, our current dining room at the condo is a four seater. Oh, these are a lot bigger than I thought they would be. Let's get the lights going. Okay. So these are the mugs. Oh, they're so nice. Oh, this is the mug. It's actually a pretty nice size. This is like a nice cup of tea or a nice cup of coffee. So that's the mug. That's another mug. What are these? These, I believe, are the pasta bowls. Oh my goodness, they wrapped these so well. These are the pasta bowls. Look how gorgeous that is. That is stunning. That is absolutely stunning. That is a stunning bowl, my friend. Here is the mug. So those are the only things that were in this box, just the mugs and the bowls. But I wanna make sure that they sent me exactly what I ordered. So this is two bowls. We have one, two, three, four mugs. Now I'm gonna pop into the big box and see how we do there. There is so much plastic here. We have to reuse these. 
what we're moving because if we don't, this is all of this is going to go in landfill. So I have two more mugs here, and they're all they're both individually bubble wrapped. They're not broken or chipped or cracked. Actually, you know what? I can't say that. I just know that they're mugs, but I haven't actually opened them up to see if they're all in good condition. Because we're not moving until February, I need to make sure that everything is good. So that way, if I need to make any exchanges or returns, then I can do that no problem. Oh, I love the size of these. This is the soup bowl. Super nice. Oh, that looks really nice. Right? Yeah. Oh, this is the dinner plate. I'm worried it's too big. Because people say that... No, um, no. People were saying that they weren't fitting in their cupboards. Oh. Because they're so wide. Did you test it out here? I didn't. I just pulled that out. So this is the soup bowl. These are bowl. really nice. This is a pasta bowl. Mm. Soup bowl. This is the mug. Very nice. And I didn't buy a second set. I bought enough for six people. So we're going to use it at home, but I'll also use it for entertaining because mm -hmm. it's, it's nice enough for that. Yeah, it looks really nice. So you know, these, are the little, these cups are amazing. Right? These are the little appetizer plates. Ah, I need to turn my brightness down. You can have like your tea on that and then cookies. These should be the mini bowls. Yes, I was right. Oh my God, these are bigger than I thought, but they're perfect. I just love like the uneven shape of these. So beautiful. This is pretty much everything. So there are seven pieces. This is the dinner plate. These are 11 inches um, across. We have our salad plate, which is eight inches wide. And then we have our little appetizer plate, which is five, I think. And then this is the mug. You can have it with just like, you know, just pop a cookie right there. So cute. And the mug is really nice. It's a nice good size. This is supposed to be 14 ounces. And I like my big cups of tea and coffee. So this is a good size for that. This is our pasta bowl. And I just love the uneven edges on that is very rustic but it's also very classic at the same time and then this is our soup slash cereal bowl you can see the edges on here are also a little bit um, not uniform but it's still looking very nice and then these are the beautiful little appetizer plates which are essentially just like a small version of the pasta bowl but these are really great for nuts and dip and they're just absolutely beautiful. And I got the set in white. Man, I can't wait to eat out of you. I can't wait to eat from you. Dinner is about to be lit. I'm so happy to have white dishes again. The last set that we had at the condo were these, they were beautiful, but they were these really pretty uh, dark blue stoneware ones. And they had little cracks in them because they're stoneware, which means that anything that was colored, we had to wash it right away or they would get discolored. So if we had like curry, our dishes would be yellow and you cannot get it out because it's settled in the cracks. Now I have to repack them and put them back in the box, but not before. I double check to make sure that all the pieces are in one piece. So that way, in case there's anything chipped or broken, I can take it back to Crate and Barrel and have them exchange it for me. So that's what I'm about to go do now. And then I'm going to go and grab Late's uh, stroller seat out of the dryer and pop it back onto his car seat because that's done and that's taken care of. And then I'm going to resume packing. <laughs> Thank you.
One of my mugs are broken. I took it out of the box and then I I heard I heard glass clinking around and I'm like that can't be good. But I'm very surprised because everything is bubble wrapped except my mugs. Hopefully they'll be able to um, get it sorted for me easily. And uh, yeah, I can get a new one. So it's just one that's broken. This one's good, but I need to get that one sort sorted out. The last thing I needed to check was this this pasta bowl, the low bowl, and it's in good condition. So we just need to make sure that we package these up back nicely so that nothing else breaks. But this, I'm going to give Crate and Barrel a call now. Just got off the phone with Crate and Barrel, and they're issuing a new mug for me as we speak. They're, they said it's going to ship out tomorrow, so that's pretty exciting. I am so bummed that this is broken, but I think the saving grace is I don't get... I don't have to use them right away so it's almost good and bad I don't have to use them right away which means that I'm not too bummed that I can't use my broken mug so um, I am bummed however that I have to wait a little bit longer to use them but I'm happy I have them and I'm so excited to eat out of them because they're they're absolutely gorgeous they're stunning stunning pieces it is just after 8 and I completely forgot that I did not do my advent calendar tea of the day and I'm really craving a cup of tea. I'm really hoping it's not a black tea because I really need something herbal right now. So let's open her up and see what we find. What day is it? Oh, four, yeah. It's green tea, is it? Yeah, this is a green tea. Let it snow. Ooh, that looks good. Spiced eggnog. Let it snow. I'm going to make myself a cup of that. That's going to be delicious. Okay, so this tea is very good. My thing is, I feel like I should have probably made it steep a little bit longer, but it's nice. It tastes like a spiced eggnog. It's more spicy than eggnoggy, if that makes any sense. Um, but it's really good. It's like a chai base with like cardamom and cinnamon and stuff like that. But it definitely has like little bits and things in there, like white chocolate and other stuff to make it more eggnoggy, but not enough eggnog but just the right amount of spice. So I would probably add some eggnog to this instead of milk next time. And I feel like that would taste really good, like an eggnog latte, but tea-based. Um, I feel like that would be delicious. So I'm gonna have this and I'm gonna go watch my show and I'm gonna write my list and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, bye.